In this lecture for Chapter 8, we will focus on discrete probability distributions. There are four learning outcomes for this lecture. One, define basic probability distribution terms. Two, distinguish discrete and continuous probability distributions. Three, describe the three major discrete probability distributions, binomial, hypergeometric, and Poisson. Four, find the probabilities, mean, variance, and standard deviation for these discrete probability distributions. What is a random variable? Random variables are measures of an object of interest generated by experiments or observations. Random variables can be qualitative or categorical variables. When they are nominal variables, they have no natural order. Or, when they are ordinal variables, they can be ranked as first, second, third, etc. Quantitative variables are numerical. They can be interval or ratio measures. Examples include weight, height, speed, grade point average, bank balance, etc. Discrete variables are countable numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. They are whole numbers or integers. Variables jump from one integer to the next. There are gaps in the measurement scale. Continuous variables take on an infinite number of values between whole numbers. There are no gaps between numbers. It is impossible to count all the possible variables between whole numbers because there are an infinite number. Examples of discrete random variables include the number of children in a family, the number of times you've been on a subway today, the number of times you brushed your teeth today, the number of pennies in your pocket, the number of spam phone calls you received this week, the number of students registered for a class. What is a probability distribution? A probability distribution is a table, chart, or formula listing all possible random variables and their probabilities of occurring. A probability distribution is a mathematical relationship that provides the probability of different possible outcomes of an experiment or observation. Probability distributions can be discrete, as shown on the left, and continuous, as shown on the right. By the way, both of these distributions are symmetrical. When the random variables are discrete, the probability distribution will be a discrete probability distribution. When the variables are continuous, the probability distribution will be a continuous probability distribution. The three common discrete probability distributions covered in clear-sighted statistics are binomial, hypergeometric, and Poisson. Four common continuous probability distributions will also be covered in clear-sighted statistics. Normal, student t, f, and chi-square. As with any probability calculation, the probability of any outcome is between 0% and 100%. Outcomes are mutually exclusive, and they are collectively exhaustive, which is to say the sum of all outcomes equals 100%. Here is the probability distribution for tossing a coin three times. As shown on the table on the left, there are eight possible outcomes. The probability of no heads equals 12.5%, one head equals 37.5%, two heads equals 37.5%, and three heads equals 12.5%. The probability mass function, or PMF, provides the probability that a discrete variable is equal to some value. This is also known as the discrete density function. This column chart shows the probability mass function for the outcomes of flipping a coin three times. The cumulative probability distribution, or CPD, provides the probability that a random variable x is less than or equal to x. This distribution is also known as the cumulative distribution function, or CDF. This chart shows the CPD for the outcomes of flipping a coin three times. The expected value is the mean or mu of a discrete probability function. 
The expected value is considered the most important measure of location in a discrete probability distribution. The expected value is the weighted mean of the possible values of all the random variables. The expected value or the mean for heads with three flips of a coin is 1.5 or one and a half heads. Variance sigma squared and standard deviation sigma for heads with three flips of a coin Variance equals 0 0.750 and the standard deviation equals 0 0.866. The three common discrete distributions. Binomial probability distributions deal with repeated trials with a constant probability of occurrence. Hypergeometric probability distributions are like binomial probability distributions, except sampling is done without replacement from a small or finite population of a known size. Poisson probability distributions calculate the number of occurrences when the rate of occurrence is known. Binomial probability distributions are also known as Bernoulli trials after Jacob Bernoulli, a prominent 17th century mathematician and older brother to another important mathematician, Johann Bernoulli. A binomial probability distribution shows the probabilities associated with the discrete random variables generated by Bernoulli trials. A Bernoulli trial is an experiment with only two outcomes, success or failure. What is a success? A success means that a variable meets the criterion, and failure means that a variable fails to meet the criterion. A Bernoulli trial measures the number of successes in a fixed number of trials or outcomes. With the Bernoulli trial, the probability of success is a constant for all trials. The trials, therefore, are independent. Sampling is done with replacement, so the probabilities do not change from trial to trial. There are a family of binomial probability distributions defined by one, the number of trials or n, and two, the probability of success in one trial or pi. There are many variants of the success-failure terminology, with the flip of a coin, heads or tails, on or off. There is also voted, not voted, yes or no, open or closed, defective or not defective. There are two types of sampling methods. Binomial distributions are based on sampling with replacement. This means that after a sampling unit is selected, it is returned to the population. This is why the probabilities do not change. Hypergeometric distributions are based on sampling without replacement. This means that after a sampling unit is selected, it is not returned to the population. As a result, the probability of success changes with each trial. Most sampling is done without replacement. There are four ways of calculating binomial probabilities. The first is a binomial probability table. The second method is a Pascal's triangle. The third method is the binomial probability formula. And the fourth method is using computer software. Microsoft Excel has a function that will calculate binomial probabilities. This function is called binome.dist. A binomial distribution table lists the most common cumulative probabilities for n number of outcomes. Tables are widely available for a variety of trial sizes. Each table includes common probabilities. Problem. What is the probability of getting five heads in five flips of the coin? Here is a binomial distribution table for five trials, as shown in the leftmost column labeled X, or the number of successes. The column to the right lists the probabilities of a success, which in this case is getting a head. Statistical textbooks often include binomial distribution tables like this one for one up to 15 or 20 trials. The probability of a success is defined as getting a head in five flips is 
This table shows the probability of no heads, 3.1%, one head, 15.6%, two heads, 31.3%, three heads, 31.3%, four heads, 15.6%, and five heads, 3.1%. Pascal's triangle is a triangular array of binomial probabilities. The rows list the number of trials. For an experiment of flipping a fair coin five times, the outcomes are on row five. There are a total of 32 ways of getting no heads, one head, two heads, three heads, four heads, and five heads. The table on the right lists the number of outcomes along with the relative frequencies or probabilities. There is a serious problem using Pascal's triangle. Building a Pascal's triangle can be laborious, especially as the number of trials increase. There are two alternatives to using a binomial probability table, or Pascal's triangle. The first is to use the binomial probability formula. The second alternative is to use Excel's binome.dist function. The binomial probability formula. The binomial probability formula uses fractorials. You will recall from chapter seven, factorial numbers express the number of ways n elements can be ordered. Four widgets can be ordered four factorial ways. Four factorial is 24, found by four times three times two times one. Five widgets can be ordered five factorial ways. Five factorial is 120 found by five times four times three times two times one. Here is the binomial probability formula. The probability of X, where X is the number of successes, is the combination of X number of successes from N number of observations times the probability of X successes times one minus the probability of success to N minus X power. The probability of no heads and five flips is 0.0313 or 3.13 percent found by the combination of zero heads from five flips which is one times the probability of 50 percent chance for a head to the zero power which is one times one minus 50 percent probability for a head to the fifth power equals 0.0313 the problem with using the binomial probability formula is that one must run the formula for all six outcomes, zero heads, one head, two heads, three heads, four heads, and five heads. Running the binomial probability formula six times is time consuming. Using Excel or another statistical application will save time. Let's turn to Excel's binome.dist function. Excel's binome.dist function has four arguments. One, the number of successes. Two, the number of trials. Three, the probability of success. And cumulative. If cumulative equals false, Excel returns the probability mass function, or PMF. If cumulative equals true, Excel returns the cumulative probability function, or CPD. On the right are the probability mass function and cumulative probability distribution tables for zero to five heads. On the left are the charts of the probability mass function and cumulative probability distributions. The mean for heads in five flips is 2.5 heads found by the sample size n, which is five, times the probability of 0.5 or 50%. The variance for heads in five flips is 1.25, found by the sample size 5, times the probability of a head, 0.5, times 1 minus the probability of a head, or 0.5. The standard deviation for heads in five flips is 1.12, found by the square root of variance. Distribution skew. If the probability of success, or pi, is 50%, the distribution will be symmetrical. If the probability of success, or pi, is less than 50%, the distribution will be skewed to the right. If the probability of success, or pi, is greater than 50%, the distribution will be skewed to the left. 
The deck of cards has 52 cards and four suits. Hearts, clubs, diamonds, and spades. What are the binomial probabilities for selecting a spade from a shuffled deck of cards? The probability of a spade equals 13 over 52, or 25%. With a 25% probability of a success and a 75% probability of failure, the table on the right shows the mean, variance, and standard deviation along with the probability mass function and the cumulative probability distribution. The probability of no spades equals 23.73%. One spade equals 39.55%. Two spades equals 26.37%. Three spades equals 8.79%. Four spades equals 1.46%. And five spades equals 0.10%. The charts on the left show the probability mass function and the cumulative probability distribution. Because the probability of success is below 50%, the distribution is skewed to the right. Let's turn to the hypergeometric probability distribution, which is also known as a binomial probability distribution without replacement. As with the binomial distribution, the hypergeometric distribution has two mutually exclusive outcomes success or failure. The experiment, therefore, is binary, or an either-or proposition. The random variable is the number of successes. Unlike the binomial distribution, the outcomes for a hypergeometric distribution are dependent. The probabilities for outcomes change because the outcomes of one trial affect the probabilities of subsequent outcomes. Use a hypergeometric probability distribution when sampling is conducted without replacement from a finite population. Samples must be at least 5% of the population. And finally, samples are randomly selected. The formula to calculate the probability of a random value uses three combinations formula. In the numerator, there are two combinations. One, the combination of the number of successes in a sample taken from the number of possible successes in a population, and two, the combination of sample size or number of trials minus the number of successes in a sample taken from a population size minus the number of successes in a population. Three, in the denominator, the third combination is the number of trials taken from the population size. Let's work through an example. The law firm Dewey, Cheatham & Howe is forming a committee to oversee the firm's work for charities. Twenty senior partners are eligible to serve on this committee. Five partners are female. The committee will have five senior partners as members. Assuming members of the committee are chosen at random, what are the probabilities that this committee will have zero, one, two, three, four, or five female members? Why is this a hypergeometric problem? The probability of female changes with each trial because sampling is conducted without replacement. Sample size. Random sampling from a finite population, lowercase n over uppercase n, must be greater than 5%. 5 over 20 equals 25%. The mean of a hypergeometric distribution is sample size, or n, times the number of successes in the population, or S, over the size of the population, or capital N. Variance for the hypergeometric distribution is the mean, times 1 minus successes in the population, or S, over the population size, or capital N, times the population size, or capital N, minus the sample size, or lowercase n, over the population size, minus 1. Standard deviation is the square root of variance. As shown, using the hypergeometric formula, the probability of no female partners being selected for this committee is 0.1937, or 19.37%. These calculations would have to be repeated for 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 women. As with the binomial probability formula, these calculations can be time-consuming. Excel's hypergeometric distribution function can make quick work of these calculations. This function has five required arguments. One, success is the number of successes in the sample. 
two sample size is the size of the sample, which is five for our example. Three population S is the number of successes in the population. Four pop size is the size of the population, which is 20 in our example. And five is cumulative, which can be true or false. If cumulative is set to true, Excel returns the cumulative population distribution. If cumulative is set to false, Excel returns the probability mass function. The table on the right shows the mean, 1.25 women, the variance, 0.74, and the standard deviation, 0.86 women, along with the probability mass function and the cumulative probability distribution. The probability of no women on this committee is 19.37%, one woman is 44.03%, two women is 29.35%, three women is 6.77%, four women is 0.48%, and five women is 0.01%. The left side of the screen shows the charts for the probability mass function and the cumulative probability distribution. And finally, let's turn to the Poisson distribution, which is named after the French mathematician Simeon Denis Poisson. Poisson means fish in French. And no, the Poisson distribution has nothing to do with fishiness or Frenchiness. The Poisson distribution expresses the probability of a given number of independent outcomes when events occur at fixed intervals at a constant rate. These intervals may be time, area, distance, or volume. These intervals are independent, and the intervals are mutually exclusive. The mean mu number of events per interval is lambda. There is a family of Poisson distributions. The family is distinguished by the mean mu number of occurrences. The Poisson distribution has four assumptions. One, the random variable is the number of successes. Two, the probability of the random variable, the probability of x, is proportional to the length of the interval. Three, the longer the interval, the higher the probability, or pi. Four, the trials are independent. The Poisson experiment. The probability of a random variable x is the number of times an event occurs during the interval. The probability of an event pi is proportional to the interval size. The mean of a Poisson distribution is sample size times the probability. This is also the variance. The standard deviation is the square root of variance. The mean of the Poisson distribution is also symbolized as the Greek letter lambda. Here is the formula for the Poisson distribution. The probability of a specific number of successes, or Px, equals mu, or lambda, times the power of the number of successes times e, the base of the logarithmic system, 2.71828, to the negative mean power over the factorial of the number of successes. For our example, we will calculate the number of credit cards that will be hacked in a year. The probability a credit card will be hacked is 0.0001 or 0.01%. If we looked at 15,000 credit cards, 1.5 cards will be hacked. The mean or lambda is found by n times pi, 15,000 times 0.0001 equals 1.5 credit cards. In a random sample of 15,000 credit cards with a probability of success is equal to 0.0001 and the population mean or mu equals 1.5, what is the probability that no credit cards will be hacked? The probability of a specific number of successes or the probability of x equals the expected number of successes or mu to the power of the number of successes multiplied by e, the base of the logarithmic system, 2.71828, to the negative expected number of successes power over the factorial of the number of successes. The probability of no hacked cards is 0.2231, 
or 22.31%. Of course, we would need to repeat these calculations for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 HAT credit cards. These calculations are time consuming. Excel's Poisson.dist function will save time. The Poisson.dist function has three arguments. The first argument is x, which is the number of successes. For our example, x would be 0 through 8 successes. The second argument is the mean. For our example, the mean is 1.5. The Poisson function requires the mean to be greater than or equal to 0. The third argument is cumulative. When set to false, Excel reports the probability mass function. And when set to true, Excel reports the cumulative probability distribution. The table on the right shows the probability mass function and the cumulative probability distribution for 0 through 8 hack credit cards during a one-year period when the sample size is 15,000. The charts on the left show the probability mass function and the cumulative probability distribution. Let's summarize. Description. Binomial probability distributions have two possible outcomes and the trials are independent. Hypergeometric probability distributions are similar to binomial distributions, except the trials are dependent. Poisson probability distributions have independent trials occurring over an interval. Independent trials. Trials for binomial and Poisson probability distributions are independent. Hypergeometric trials are dependent. Fixed number of trials. Binomial and hypergeometric probability distributions have a fixed number of trials. Poisson probability distributions do not. There are three other discrete probability distributions that are not covered in clear-sighted statistics. The first are negative binomial distributions, which are the number of successes in Bernoulli trials before a specific number of failures. The second are geometric distributions, which are a special case of the negative binomial distribution. The third are multinominal distributions, which are a generalization of the binomial distribution for more than two responses. Except where otherwise noted, clear-sighted statistics is licensed under a Creative Commons license. You are free to share derivatives of this work for non-commercial purposes only. Please attribute this work to Edward Volchak. You can access clear-sighted statistics for free along with its Excel and PowerPoint files on the CUNY Commons. The URL is https forward slash forward slash cuny.manifoldapp.org forward slash projects forward slash clear dash cited dash statistics.